the hybrid, a monster that thrives in the South Florida heat. Dangerous. You cannot outrun the hybrid. 90 degrees. Swamp humidity and the hybrid doesn't get tired. Jogging, sprinting, throwing, sparring. No breaks for water, no 15 second breathers. Just non-stop cardio. Man, I'm sweating just watching him. Florida, the new melting pot. A thousand people move here every day. They're bringing their families, their traditions, and their stories. I'm one of them. I'm Junior. I've spent a lifetime in the food business. In Northeast Philly, you might remember the Gina Cotti. Now I'm here. Florida is not known for food, but maybe it should be. I'm discovering something. Buried in these strip malls with their pastel paint and their stucco walls, artists are at work and they want to talk to Junior. Nico Price is lethal. An avenue there for a couple of rights. What he does to his opponents. He's out. Oh. Brown is out. Nico the hybrid Price. Green. Knockout after knockout. You see things like this and you wonder, Cover it up. where do these guys come from? Man, I think he slapped Did they have a rough childhood? Oh, Nico Price with a big knockdown. I was picturing someone that didn't smile a whole lot, but boy was I wrong. i never been in a street fight, but... That doesn't mean I've never been punched in the mouth by my brother. <laughs> Nico is the only big name UFC fighter from Southwest Florida. He reps Cape Coral. I'm the only UFC fighter in Cape Coral. The Mariner High School grad played linebacker. I was a little linebacker. You were a little middle linebacker? But I had a big attitude, yeah. <laughs> Early on, Nico thought self-defense would help him in his career. And then I was going to be a cop, so I wanted to learn how to do, like, I wanted to learn how to defend myself because I was going to have to work in the jails. Right. And then I just started... I went in to do an MMA class, and then I started sparring some dude, and he hit me, I hit him back, and I was like, oh, and then I never went back trying to be a cop. But the long road from that first punch in the face to today is inspiring. Yeah, I did landscape for the first eight years of my fighting career. Oh, wow. Yeah. Down here, that's got to be a, that's got to be a grind, too, in the heat. It'll make it tough. Yeah. <laughs> I used to work for Mainscape, and I would head, hedge trim miles of, like, hedges, miles of edging the line of the road, and I would literally walk with a sauna suit on, pants and a shirt, and that's how I would cut weight, and that's how I stayed in shape, and I'd power, I wouldn't just power walk, I would be like jogging with it, and everyone thought I was just a weird guy jogging with it, with an edger. It's like, nah, dude, I'm trying to get better cardio, son. You know, I'm gonna use work to make my work better. You know, ensure that it's inevitable that I'm gonna be in the UFC. When Nico started, MMA fighting wasn't even legal in Florida. You had to search for an MMA school. Like you had to be like, yo, do you do MMA? No, we just do karate. Yo, you do MMA? No, we just do jiu-jitsu. For my first couple of MMA fights, I had to go all the way out to almost, I had to go to Riverdale. That's where I met Coach Mike. So just a decade ago, Nico is busting his butt under the Florida sun, then riding his bike to the gym to work on his dream. For a while, I didn't have a car. I didn't have the money to get a car, so I always looked at it as, ah, extra cardio, let's go. Three-mile bike ride to the gym, and I would power ride to the gym, and I'd get there. We would be there, and we'd roll for hours until 11 o'clock at night. Oh, everyone wanted me to stop. And it wasn't really because of the whole, you're getting hurt thing. You know, of course your family doesn't want you to get hurt. It was because, I had my first kid at 21, you know, and I was working <laughs> over 50 hours a week in landscaping, training 20 hours a week in this, and not making money in this, you know? But you want to watch a story about progress? Scroll back to that first Instagram pic. Daughter Mia comes into the world before dad's a UFC big name. A couple likes. Now let's watch the rise. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Nico loved to get hit. Try to move it. Don't really move either. It's like a diving board. To me, enduring like a punch in the face, man, that's gotta. I enjoy it. it wakes me up. 
It's like, all right, you want to hit me? I'm going to hit you back. <laughs> I watch your fighting, and I think, I'd almost have to hate somebody to, to I mean, no, but but you guys are great with that. I mean, you, it's, okay, it's over, see you later, I'll have a, have a drink. The thing about it is that he's a co-worker. The only thing is, we get to fight our co-workers. <laughs> with each of these knockouts comes more money and bigger contracts. When you're as entertaining as the hybrid, you get more eyeballs watching, you get the performance of the night, and they thank you with dollars. <laughs> so the guy who might have edged your lawn a decade ago My check. is now fielding questions from the media. He's getting sponsors. His name is ringing out in the UFC. Nico Price with another one for the real. But Nico's growth in the octagon. I just want to go see my kids. I got five at home. Matches the growth that's happening at home. Number six. Number six. We got a big squad. Three on threes all day. Let's go. <laughs> Papa Hybrid isn't fighting alone. <laughs> oh, Meet the prices. Dirty. Wife Erica, Mia, Ella, Asher. You chilling? Oh, he likes the camera. Look at him. Micah, Ezra, and a brand new price baby on the way. Well, that was quiet. They were actually being really good in there. And I was like, man, except for my one daughter, the oldest daughter, Mia, who was sitting next to me, kept putting her feet on the, the seat. <laughs> She is a little smart, but man, she will, her two cents is always said. <laughs> they watch and cheer me on, and when I get hit hard and I fall down or something, they're like, get up, <laughs> get up. And my daughter, when I came home, my daughter goes, why didn't you get up? I was like, baby, I was trying. There's a big boy on top of me. <laughs> my daughter wakes up with me and works out with me in the morning. Yeah, get them started early, yeah. Oh, yeah. I shadow box and I hold mitts for them in there. Yeah, so they all know how to throw hands and feet. Fame and fortune hasn't lured Nico away from home. Who doesn't want to live in Florida? That's why I haven't left. I can literally stop at a ditch and go catch a fish, you know? Catch a five-pound bass out of a ditch. Four to six hours to mow it. He set up shop on a couple acres yeah, right next to his parents. Cape Coral is the hybrid's hometown and now one of America's fastest-growing cities. The snowbirds used to be the issues. Now everyone's just moving here, buying up every piece of property they can. Like out here, there used to be nothing. There was, like you drive, you don't see any houses, just fields on fields. And this was that not that long ago either. Oh, 10 years ago. Our Damn! With the population exploding, you have more fighters in training. All right, let's go, warm it up. And they're going to want to train with the hybrid. Why not be the face for MMA here? I'm gonna be a coach. Okay, like Mike, right? Yep. Bro, it's a sport. I use his gym, he's there every day with me. Again. <laughs> he holds mitts almost every day for me. Always end up on the out, don't end up on the in. Backs hurt, his shoulders hurt. Yep. He doesn't yeah. complain. Dude, I punched him in the face yesterday. An accident. Right. I missed the mitt and punched him right in his mouth. And I was like, oh, coach, coach, you all right? He's like, boom, when he hits me, I can just feel it. It just feels like he's got a brick on his fist. We'll probably go into business with Mike. Me and him will open a big MMA school and we'll be most known around. How Florida is this? Join the hybrid for beach volleyball with a 10 pound medicine ball. That's how coach Mike likes to cool down the crew after a brutal workout in the searing South Florida sun. This is what a work day looks like for Nico Price. Price says all this takes a toll. And while fighters like Nico have offers put in front of them all the time for sponsorships, the guy who reps Southwest Florida keeps it local, even with endorsements. Our old pals from Pure Native and Seed and Bean teamed up with the hybrid to help him with his recovery. For my sponsorship, they're one of my great supporters that I have they helped me get through this, these enduring camps I have. You know, I come home and I, when I wake up, I take the gummies and then I take a tincture. And then when I get home, I take a tincture and I drink one of those seltzers normally and, uh, and some more gummies. And, and then, I, oh yeah, it and helps. And they got some cream. Right. Like, I'm gonna put some cream on my knee here in a little bit. Okay. My knee's a little dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Yeah. They're all straightforward. Yeah. You know, they don't hide nothing. They tell you, they put it on the table. And then seed and beans like my cheat day. I get to go over there and choose some goods. I just saw they have alligator. 
I was pretty happy about that. I was going to get that, but then I was like, eh, I'm not going to change it up too much during camp. I came out to help my cousin today. Nico also gives back to the community that supported him. I like to support uh, Captains for Clean Water. It's a company full of captains, and they just do everything they can to help keep the, the ocean clean. After my last fight, I went up to St. Pete, and there was just millions of dead fish. And my cousin, he got subcontracted out to get the jobs to clean the fish up. So I went up there to help him out for a day. And I wondered why that nickname, the hybrid? Because I can do it all. I can do everything. The husband and the dad. The landscaper and the fisherman the local sponsors and the local coaches, the hometown fighter. I got here by the grace of God. I pray right before the fight. When I walk in, I bless the cage. I pray that we all, we both come out of here alive and nothing crazy happens. Fighting out of Cape Coral, Florida. We're all able to go to our families after this. Nicole the Hybrid.